family, friends, and the newlyweds, Ina Pets, as I call the bride, and Lawrence. Perhaps it's fitting that you ask me to make a toast to the Queen, as Stephanie, you share a lot of qualities with one. Queens are leaders. They are trustworthy, they are brave, they are caring, they are loved by those around them, they are intelligent, but also wise, they are tough, but also tender, and most of all, they have a very healthy eye for diamonds. Just like the similarities and traditions are passed down through royal families, I have no doubt that many of the qualities that you possess are inherited from the generations before you. You truly are a unique and very special person. And so Lawrence, what does that make you? A king, maybe. A prince, perhaps. A princess, more likely. <laughs> Jokes aside, you make my sister happier than I've ever seen her. And for that, I'd like to thank you with all of my heart. I'm really looking forward to a great relationship as brother-in-laws in the future. And whilst the royal families have their regimented lifestyle, as we've heard tonight already, so do the pair of you. Wake up, work out, overnight oats, walk, cottage cheese and apple, walk, yoga, chicken hot pot, sleep, repeat. And although your lifestyle seems strange to pretty much everyone here tonight, to me, it shows something deeper, a deep commitment to something important to you both. And I know that with this same commitment, you will have a wonderful life and marriage together. And with all of that said, I would like to propose a toast to the Queen. So please charge your glasses and be upstanding. The toast is Her Majesty the Queen. Good evening, everyone. We hope you're enjoying this wonderful evening so far. I think you'll all agree with me that it's absolutely stunning tonight. <laughs> so we were absolutely delighted when Lawrence and Steph asked us to do the toast to the State of Israel. But before we do, we just want to say a few words about our amazing brother and our wonderful new sister-in-law, Steph. I think we're the only people who call you Steph, because I think with everybody else, everybody calls you Stephanie. <laughs> Steph, we are so delighted you are officially a member of our family now, and we can now say that there is another Mrs. S. Glass. With mum and dad having all three of us within the space of four years, Lawrence, Paul and I all share a very special bond. As well as spending all our childhood years together in Manchester, we were also blessed to be living in such close proximity of each other in London. This until Lars and Seth decided that the pink sands and turquoise waters of Bermuda were somewhat more appealing than the London underground. We truly miss you both being away the last three years and can't wait for the day when you move back to the UK. Lars and Steph, we are so proud of you and all of your fantastic achievements. We know it's not easy being away from family, and thank goodness for WhatsApp, but we know you are both making the most of every moment in your unique location. And with COVID hopefully finally behind us, you will embrace your love for travel and seeing the world. We wish you both so much love, fun, and happiness in married life. Ladies and gentlemen, please can you raise your glass to the amazing Loz and Steph. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please remain upstanding? The toast is the President of the State of Israel.
Let's host the President of the State of Israel, L'chaim.